All right, so this is one of the interviews I've been looking forward to the most. I'm here with a, a guy I really like a lot and uh, an influencer in the certification space in a big way. I'm here with Narvik Kocharians. How you doing? <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. So I'm just going to take a little of your time up with some questions around you know certification stuff, obviously. So CCIE, what is, what is getting a CCIE in routing and switching is your world? Uh, well, it's not just, is it just route and switch or? We do others, okay. uh, but route switch is what I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, what does that mean for a career path? Well, if 10 to 20 people, uh, you know, attend for a position, just apply for a position, uh, and let's say they all have identical experience. If one of them has a CCIE, I will definitely hire the guy that has the CCIE over the others. Now, some people say, why? The reason I would hire the CCIE, because when you have a CCIE, you're telling me that you're serious in your business. Secondly, uh, having a CCIE means you're creative. For example, let me give you a weird example. Sure. <laughs> Let's say we have a Phillips head screw, and we want to unscrew this Phillips head screw, but I don't give you a Phillips screwdriver. A non-CCIE would probably say, hey, I don't know how to do this. You have to give me a Phillips screwdriver. Whereas a CCIE will reach in his pocket and say, hey, do I have a loose change? So <laughs> if I have a loose change, I can use the uh, coins to turn the uh, screw, I'll use that. Yeah. You know, so uh, a CCIE can get really creative, whereas, because, you know, uh, I mean, throughout their journey, uh, they've learned and they had an exposure of, to do, uh, of doing 007 labs, ninja style labs, yeah. and things of that nature. So that would be the only reason I would hire a CCIE versus a non-CCIE with identical experience. So uh, we're involved with expert level training. Um, we know about it, we're, and I know you're you know, deeply involved with it, and, and you do boot camps as well. So tell us about your, um, your role in expert level training and, and the boot camps. You know, uh, we have a team of experts in Cisco, uh, such as Bruce Kaslaw, Val Palvachenko, these guys are old timers and they're truly expert in what they do. And they, what they do is they provide us with uh, uh, books, with lab books, and uh, recently they've added so many nice labs, and I mean seriously decent labs. Uh, they have labs for diagnostic section of the lab, they have labs for troubleshooting, and they have labs for configuration. But as a Cisco learning partner, you have to understand that these labs are not enough for a student to pass the lab. So what I did was I added 4,000 pages of labs to what they normally get attending one of these authorized training. Okay. And uh, so that enhances their uh, uh, you know, uh, knowledge and stuff like that. But it's not only what we give the students, it's the way you teach the material. Uh, there are two ways basically to do it. Use PowerPoint, which is against my religion. <laughs> <laughs> and when you use PowerPoint, you're not really teaching, you're covering the material. That's all you're doing. Versus getting on the board, chalk talk, uh, 10, 12, 14, 20 hours a day. Uh, now you're teaching. Yeah. You know? So uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, so it's not only expert level training. Expert level training, I believe, it's one of the best things that has happened in CCI writing and switching. But you as a learning partner, you have to take that next step. Take what they gave you and enhance and add uh, add your flavor to what they normally give. Yep, and a lot of people taking your, do you have any idea how many people have gone through your boot camps oh. or? <laughs> uh, a lot. Yeah. I know. I see your name. We see your name on Cisco Learning Network constantly and, uh, and you on, on there as well. So you know, Cisco Learning Networks, uh, honestly, uh, it's something that you as a CCI candidate need to join. This is a must join forum. Now, I have my own forum, but I don't, represent, I don't care about my own forum because to be honest with you, you have to be honest with your candidates. Cisco Learning Network Forum is phenomenal. Why, and we just recently added the challenges. Yeah, you guys are on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, now we're gonna add, I'm gonna up it, uh, and I'm gonna introduce the next level challenges in CLN because uh, we really want people to learn in, uh, in that forum and pass the lab. Uh, I highly recommend CLN to everyone. Wonderful. I won't. I won't uh, say anything ne on top of it. No, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no, that's an honest. Yeah, my no, honest I opinion. I'm I, a very straight shooter. Yeah. <laughs> so, last question. You are the author of the official cert guide for CCIE route and switch, and um, 
you know, I get asked, you've probably seen questions, are you working on any revisions for the book? Where are we at with that? Well, uh, version 5.1 for written yeah. just, just was released. Yep. Uh, uh, I, to be honest with you, I really didn't have time to uh, participate in that uh, book. Uh, and the reason is for last, I would say, 16 months, uh, I've written, I've co-authored the OCG yeah. for CCI Writing and Switching, uh, 1,400 pages over there. I wrote my own book, 2,500 pages of advanced CCI Writing and Switching uh, Lab. This is protocol specific lab. I wrote 875 pages of foundation book. Uh, once again, protocol specific labs, and all of them are in full color. I wrote 600 pages uh, of uh, troubleshooting labs. Uh, I wrote, I co authored many other books and uh, take edited many other books. And on top of that, I've taught roughly around 30 or 40 boot camps. Yeah. And uh, as you and I know, we need to sleep, we need to eat, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so I really didn't have time to yeah. do that, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. I would have loved to, but uh, right now I'm very excited because uh, I'm writing a new book for Cisco Press. Uh, I think this book is, is a must book for uh, CCMP candidates oh. that want to take the next step. Because when you look at the CCNA curriculum, it actually leads you to CCMP. That's right. But when you look at the CCMP, it doesn't lead you to CCI. There's a huge gap. Yep. So what I'm going to do in that new book, it's basically, it's a Cisco Press book. It's full of labs. Uh, it covers the gap between CCMP and CCIE. So it takes you from CCMP level to the CCIE doorstep. So now you can take a boot camp and pass the lab. That'll be awesome. And it's 1,000 pages, by the way. <laughs> oh, right on. <laughs> Narvik. It's a pleasure. I know. Uh, Brett. It's I, a pleasure to be with you, man. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.